Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. For this video, we're going to cover how to do a five number summary on the Casio FX 9750 G2. So this is a great calculator for statistics, but of course, it's a little tricky to figure out where exactly all of these different menu options are. So let's go ahead and some, uh, grab some data and see if we can get that into our calculator so we can five our five number summary. Now, as a quick review, the five number summary includes the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum. So if we have a little bit of time where you're looking at a box plot like this, those are those key values that give you a sense of kind of where the, the distribution is. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and get this data into our calculator. Now, the best place to do this is in the stat menu. So right now I'm on the run menu. So go ahead and press your menu button and select over where it says stat. Excellent. Now I have 12 data points here. I'm just gonna enter them into the calculator one at a time. Uh, don't worry, I'll speed this up so you're not sitting here waiting. Excellent. Looks like we have all of our data into the calculator and we're ready to move on to the next step. We want to go into calc, so that's under F2. This is a single variable, so we'll press F1. And now we got tons of information on this little data set. Stuff like the mean, uh, say the standard deviation, uh, even something like the sum of all the values. But what we want is a little bit further on down, so let's scroll on down. And now we can see there's the min, the first quartile, the median, third quartile, and the maximum. It even has the mode in there. So let's just go ahead and write all this in. So there's all of that great information. Now, we have a little bit of extra time, so let's go ahead and make a box plot of this so we can see where all of that falls. So exit out of this nice little summary, exit out of our test, and now we can go over here to the graph option. Now when you press graph, you actually have three different graphs that you can put it on, graph one, two, or three. Uh, we're gonna put this on the first one, uh, but you'll notice if you actually just press graph, it'll give you a dimension error. That means we have to set a few settings first to make sure that it knows it's a box plot. Usually it thinks it's a scatter plot of some sort. And of course, it's not gonna be able to make that scatter plot unless it has X and Y values. So before we get too far, let's go ahead to set the settings in here. So that's F6. And you wanna change the graph type into a box. So it's set to scatter. Uh, box is not an option until you uh, press F6 to get a few more. There's our box, so we'll press that one. We can also turn outliers on or off. I'm gonna leave mine off so that the minimum value is still five. So if you switched it, uh, if you actually turn those outliers on, then five would show up as that outlier. So let's just leave that as it is. Exit out of there. Now I can go into the select part and since data is in the calculator, so it usually has these on, but it's always good to check. So my stats graph for number one is on, and the graph stats for two and three, those are both off. Uh, so here's where you can toggle them, turn them on or off if you want. All right, so it already has one on. That sounds good. Let's go into draw. And there we have our box plot with our minimum value, our first quartile, our median, our third quartile, and our maximum. If your window is a little tough to see or you're not getting those X values along the bottom, remember, you can just adjust that by going into your window. I like to set my Y minimum for a, a negative one, a Y maximum around two. And this one I've set the scale for five. That way I can easily see where those tick marks are. All right, hopefully that was helpful. If you'd like to see some more of my videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.